Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth. And for those of y'all who are new here, welcome. I own a six-figure reselling business selling primarily women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. And in today's video, we are going thrifting to Goodwill to find some inventory to sell on those platforms. So I'm gonna bring you with me to go thrifting and both actually at a buy sell trade store here in Portland and a couple Goodwills. And then throughout the video, I will show you what I found at those locations. So we're actually gonna first start out by going to that buy sell trade store. Then I'll show you what I found and do a little buy sell trade store haul. Then we'll go thrifting at Goodwill and I'll show you what I found at those Goodwills. So. Okay, without further ado, let's jump back in time to when I was thrifting. Hey y'all, today is Saturday. I typically don't thrift on Saturday, but man, I'm just having one of those days where I just really, really want to go thrifting and I really wanna go sourcing. And so I'm gonna bring you with me and we're gonna have some fun finding some inventory for you know my reselling business and for Poshmark and eBay and all that stuff. So I think today I am going to start by going to my favorite buy sell trade store in Portland, which is called Crossroads. It is like a national chain, so check to see if there's one in your area if you haven't been to one already. There are others like Buffalo Exchange and Plato's Closet, but my personal favorite is Crossroads. So I'm gonna stop into one. It's actually a smaller one here in Portland, and then we'll head on over to a couple Goodwills. Today is such a nice day here in Portland. It's so sunny. I'm wearing shorts, it just feels good. So. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun and hopefully find some really good things. Yay! Okay, gotta grab my mask and my reusable bag. Okay, wish me luck. stuff all right well i got a good amount of stuff at the crossroads i'm really excited to show y'all in the hall i think what i'll do is just do you know part of the trip thrift trip part of the hall so i will show you the haul from that portion of today in a second but now i'm about to head over on to another goodwill so oh my gosh i just miss the sunshine so much <laughs> it's so 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 nice today oh my gosh okay so anyway Heading on to Goodwill. 
enjoy the haul. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna start with Crossroads and I've actually decided to take a few pieces back to Crossroads uh, just because after checking comps a little bit more thoroughly and checking condition, I'm deciding to take a few things back, which is great that my local consignment stores allow me to do that. And I think I can get credit, which is totally fine because then I can just find other things to sell. But I still have some goodies. And one of the things I'm returning, I still want to show you because the brand is really great. Okay, so first let's start out with denim. And I found what, four pieces, five, four or five pieces of denim that I decided to keep and I'm excited to resell. The first is a brand you're gonna see come up several times throughout this haul and it is Madewell. Madewell may be my bread and butter brand. I just really like selling Madewell, but specifically denim and certain styles of jeans, especially newer styles, dresses and rompers, but ones that are in more rare floral prints or rare styles that still resell for a little bit higher of a price point. And I always, always check comps on those. And then the last thing I like to sell by Madewell is outerwear. And I also check comps on those. And especially really like to focus on newer pieces of outerwear as well. But um, this is a pair of size 36. So it's plus size. And they're a 10 inch high rise skinny and they're actually new with tag. And I think almost everything I got at Crossroads was half off, which was great. And I have a hard time finding really cute plus size denim at the thrift store. So I was really, really happy to find a few pieces at Crossroads this time around. And yeah, half off. I will definitely take it. It was basically cheaper uh, than this pair of denim used would be at my thrift store. So good thing. The next is another new tag plus size pair of denim that was also half off at Crossroads. So I was really happy about it. And this is a brand I really love selling, Good American, which of course one of the co-founders is Khloe Kardashian. This is one of the brands that I cover in my 50 Bola brand list. So if you haven't downloaded that yet, definitely make sure to do so. The link is down in the description. But this is a size 24 and this is one of their more popular styles, Good Legs. I actually got two other pairs of Good American plus size jeans at Crossroads. But after I got them home, I realized the pilling between the legs was just really, really bad. So I decided to go ahead and take them back, which is too bad, but something I should have checked for while I was there, but it's fine. I can just take it back and get something else. But this one is new with tags, hasn't been worn, and it's actually a coated denim. And so um, it's really sleek and sophisticated pair of denim, but still has stretch and it's still really comfortable. Okay, my next piece is one of the few pieces that I got from Crossroads that actually wasn't half off, but it wasn't priced too high. And I think I've never sold this brand before, so I was really excited to find it, and especially a style that I think is gonna do really well. And I'm really excited to see how it does. The brand is Boyish. I don't know if you can see that there. Here, I'll show you the back tag as well. It might be a little bit easier. Okay, see that there? And this is a high rise light wash jean with a button fly, a not exposed button fly, but a covered button fly. And it's just really on trend. Pair of denim that when I check comps do, it does really well. This is a size 32. So it's also a larger size, which I was happy about. And yeah, this is a brand that the resale value can be a little bit all over the place, but the newer styles tend to do really well and they can sell for $100 plus, which is great for denim. All right, my next piece is another pair of Madewell, and this one is a pair of black skinny jeans. They are the nine inch high rise skinny jeans. They're new with tag and they're a size 24. So they're really teeny tiny, but they were half off. And I have experience selling this exact pair of denim before, so, I thought, hey, might as well pick it up. And a new tag half off pair of denim, I will take it. Okay, I found these in the women's denim section, but they're actually men's like pants, but the brand is Mother. And I've actually never sold Mother men's apparel. So I'm actually really excited to see how these do. They are a size 32 men's and they're just this, they definitely do feel like denim, but, uh, they kind of have more of a pants look with the fly and so forth. So they'd be really, really great for work and they're in excellent condition. So 
I actually didn't check comps on these because they were half off. But when I got home and I was checking comps, I realized, oh, they're men's. And this particular style seems to do pretty well. So I'll be curious to see how quickly it sells and what kind of demand there is for this brand in the men's section over on Poshmark or eBay. <laughs> okay, next up, I have a brand I really love selling and it is Everlane. It's one of those bread and butter brands that I love picking up. This is not a piece that's great for the season we're going into summer, but it will be great going forward. And so it was half off and I decided definitely to go ahead and pick it up. I think that's one thing that can be really helpful as a reseller is going through the parts of the thrift store or going through the parts of the consignment store that aren't being picked over by people right now. So for instance, it might be a good time right now to be going through coats and sweaters because they're gonna be way less picked over since people right now are not shopping for those things. And that way, when you get to July, August, when people are starting to purchase things for back to school, you'll have things stocked in your closet or on eBay already. And for those of y'all who are asking, should I just hold on to the item and wait? I would recommend listing it now and then you can relist it when um, you get closer to fall if it hasn't sold by then. But anyway, these are a pair of wool pin tuck trousers. You can see that little pleating on the front, you see? And they're size double zero, so they'd be a really great piece to wear to work when um, the weather gets a little bit colder out. And they're in this really pretty navy blue color, but Everlane just makes really good basics that are really well constructed and the company is super transparent. So I really like selling this brand. I feel like I can ethically get behind it. So, and they make great pieces too. They don't retail for a ton of money. I say this almost every time, but they do resell quickly and for decent money. So I do tend to like to pick up Everlane even though the average sales price is a little bit lower than what I typically aim for. Okay, so the next thing I got was this set and they were on the same hanger, so I thought they were priced together. But then after checking my receipt when I got home, they weren't and so they're not gonna be uh, worth reselling. I was thinking about maybe trying it on because I think it's really cute, but it's not my size. It's a size medium and large, but I wanted to include it just to show you the brand and the brand is Hack With Design House. I just wanted to show you what this tag looks like. It actually has the writing of the style name and when it was made, which I think is really cool. This is a Bolo brand, but certain pieces do better than others. And so the resale value is a little bit all over the place. I would just recommend going on Poshmark, looking it up and going through the styles that do perform well. I think if I did get this for a reasonable price, I'd be able to sell it pretty easily because matching sets are really in right now, but I couldn't really find comps for this exact set because these are two separates that are sold separately, I think, on their website. So it would have been interesting to see how they perform, but I am gonna return them to Crossroads. So just a brand I wanted to put on your radar in case you didn't know about it already. And by the way, if you aren't following me over on Instagram already, be sure to do so. I'm sharing a Bolo brand of the day every day, Monday through Friday. And then in our newsletter, we send out a recap of all those brands every Friday. And coming soon, people who have purchased the course will be able to access the full catalog of Bolo brands, which will be regularly updated. So I'll be sure to let you know when that rolls out. It will be hopefully sometime soon, but something to look forward to. Okay, so the next piece is actually a collaboration that I've sold a couple times before. Typically I like to list this for about $100 and then it'll sell somewhere between the $50 to $80 range, but sometimes it does perform a little better. But this collaboration is Paper Crown and Rifle Paper Company. This collab happened a little while back and it was sold at Anthropology and the pieces were in really high demand then and there's still demand for them now. I love Rifle Paper Company. I think the prints uh, that they have on their paper products are so cute. And it only makes sense that the clothing they made along with Paper Crown is also cute. Paper Crown is a brand by Lauren Conrad, for those of y'all who didn't know. And so this collab is just darling precious. I think it's one that would be really easy to wear to a wedding or something this summer and it's a perfect piece for going into summer. So I was very happy to find this over at Crossroads. And then the very final piece I found at Crossroads that I decided not to take back um, is actually another piece by Madewell and it's a size six. 
and it's this really, really cute romper. I'm gonna show you the print. So, so cute and so perfect for summer. It has a V-neck line with these little button details on the front, some ties on the sleeve, just very vintage inspired. Um, and really cute, really wearable piece for summer. I actually might try it on and see if I want to keep it. The size is a little bit too big for me, but maybe I could wing it. But otherwise, uh, comps look really good on it. So happy to find it and it was half off, so yay. Okay, so now we're gonna jump back in time again and go thrifting at a couple of Goodwills and then I'll meet you back here with the haul. Okay, let's go. Successful, but one of the things was actually something I never had found at the thrift store so I'm excited to show y'all but I think I'll head on to the other Goodwill before doing another haul just because because a two item haul is pretty sad so let's head on to the next Goodwill hey. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, so I actually didn't spend too, too much time in there because what I have been liking doing recently is going through jeans and dresses, which are my two kind of favorite categories of clothing. Going through jeans and dresses and seeing if there have been good root donations recently based off of those two categories and if not then moving on and so i didn't find anything in jeans and dresses and i did find three pairs of shoes so found three pairs of shoes and kind of headed on so i think we have time for one more goodwill hopefully that one will be more successful these past two have been kind of meh but i am excited to show you what i did find um and then crossing my fingers for the next one I don't know how much I'll be able to film in there just because my phone is dying. I really need to buy a, like a battery, you know, that I can charge my phone on the go with. Okay, definitely need to invest in that. But in the meantime, I don't know how much I'll be able to film in that one, but I will at least see y'all in the haul. Okay, see you then. Okay, so I went to three Goodwills actually that day. Two of them are on camera that I brought y'all along with me to. So we're gonna go through the pieces that I found. I didn't find too, too many things at Goodwill, which was kind of surprising. I was hoping maybe people were doing spring cleaning and getting their new wardrobes ready, but the pieces that I did find are actually really great ones. So I'm excited to share them with you. Okay, so. At that very first Goodwill, I think I only found two pieces. And the first was this pair of, you guessed it, Madewell jeans. Um, they look like they're in really, really good condition. You can tell from that patch pocket, it looks like it's barely really been worn. These are a 31 petite. And I think for people who wear petite or tall sizing, Madewell is a really great brand because they do cover both of those. And so um, I tend to pick up petite and tall jeans from Madewell, but I really like the wash on these. They're kind of between a medium and dark wash um, and just a really great pair of everyday jeans. So yeah, happy to find those. And then I found one other thing. I found these Gola shoes. They are sneakers. They're actually a collaboration between Gola and Liberty clothing company, I think what it's called. Um, Liberty's also done a collaboration with J. Crew, and they do these really fun floral prints. And I just really love the color combo on this, like the purples, the blues, and the olive green. I was hoping that they were my size, but they're actually a size 10. But yeah, when I checked comps on these, they looked really good. So I decided to go ahead and pick these up, and I've never found this brand of shoes at the thrift store before. So excited to see how they do. Okay, and then the next Goodwill that I went to, I didn't spend too much time in there, I think I talked about that, but I found three pairs of shoes. So the first were what seems to be a brand new pair of Madewell, which is just, I mean, you know, call this the Madewell haul, Madewell sandals that are just really nice, kind of strappy sandals with a leather footbed and leather straps um, on the upper. So yeah, I was, they were priced really reasonably and since they're in just excellent, excellent condition, I decided to go ahead and pick these up. They are a size seven. And I wasn't doing this intentionally because I was looking at boots and so forth, but all the shoes I picked up, I think are great for summer. So that was a really, really nice coincidence. The next one were these pair of Vionic. I love selling Vionic. They're a more orthotic shoe wear company and I personally really just like wearing Vionic because I have bad feet. But this is a pair of platform flip-flops or sandals with this either leather or faux leather. It kind of feels like faux leather knotted strap. These are a size eight. So that's a good size. And yeah, I was excited to find these and pick them up. Hopefully they'll sell quickly going into the summer. Okay. And then the last pair I found and the last thing I found at this Goodwill was another brand of shoes that I really like selling and that is Corky's. I think I've talked about this on the channel before. Uh, I actually have a 10 shoes bolo list video that I'll link up on the screen and I can do another one of those if you think that would be helpful. Just let me know in the comments down below but I do love selling shoes. They just have a really good average sales price and they sell rather quickly. They do take up a bit of storage space, but since they sell rather quickly, I'm not too worried, especially for these brands. 
Uh, this is a wedge with this leather along the side and leather upper, of course, and then the signature cork insole. The Corkies is a brand that does really well. It retains its value really well, and these are a size seven. Okay, and then I went to one more Goodwill off camera and I found a few things and I actually found some clothes at this one. So the first thing that I found was this Bowden top and this is the newer Bowden tag. It's got a little bit thinner writing, a little bit more pointed writing. This is a size eight and I thought this was really cute. It has these silver embroidered stars. I'm definitely more selective when it comes to Bowden. I only pick up newer pieces and I try to only pick up pieces that I think are unique. And I thought this was really, really cute with these little embroidered stars. It's got a gathered hem or an elastic gathered hem and same gathered elastic sleeves. But yes, I thought this was really darling and kind of an all seasons piece that could be really cute, especially tucked into jeans or uh, tucked into a skirt or something or worn under overalls just really really cute next piece is also by a brand that i'm super selective with but this piece was just gorgeous to me it's j crew and again this is the newer tag with that cursive font and actually it's new with tags which i didn't even realize until i got it to the register but i love the print on this dress i think it's gorgeous and i'll just zoom in it's kind of a more vintage inspired floral print maybe even a little bit more botanical floral print and it's a size small i might actually consider keeping this i don't know i might try it on but it's so cute so wearable for the summer it's got these gathered kind of little puff cap sleeves an elastic waist these ties at the neckline just really really cute and as I'm sure you all all know by now you can tell what season it's from from the little tag this is true for both J Crew and Madewell and this is fall 19 and the style number is AD057 so I can quickly look that up and find it when I am listing it and have the style name and the stock photos if I want to use it so really really pretty floral dress and then I found a reseller's favorite Lululemon and this is a pair of full length leggings which I think is the best performing category in Lululemon and it even has the pull tag on it which is great. Um, it's a size 4 and it has this kind of little chevron print in a black and white. I think these are either, I think these are the Wonder Under or they might be a line legging, I'm not sure, but they do seem to have a high rise waist and again, yeah, that full length. And they seem to be in really excellent condition, so I was happy to find these. I need to find style name and color. And then I found another pair of leggings that I've actually never really heard before and I've never sold. Um, I, I need to do a little bit more research before listing it because when I was looking it up on my phone when I was in the store, it seemed like this is a brand that is sold kind of in-house at Peloton because as you can see, there's a little Peloton logo there, but the brand itself, here I'll show it to you here, is with, and this is a pair of leggings that has this kind of shiny snakeskin print that's like not super visible when worn but it moves with the light and it's really unique and really nice i think um, especially for people who like to work out uh, but this is a size medium and here's the pull tag let me know in the comments down below if you know more information about this brand because it'll be helpful to me while i'm listing it but when I, I did find comps on it when I was in the store on Poshmark and they seem to be doing pretty well. So I definitely wanted to try it out, learn more about it and give it a go. And then the last piece from the haul is <laughs> the brand that has really come to define this haul and it is Madewell. And this is a really cute pair of sandals by Madewell that also appear to be in almost like new condition, maybe worn like once or twice. And they are super, super cute with this square toe and this kind of embossed leather upper. It's a white leather with this kind of black uh, print on it. And it's got a little he block heel here. Really cute, really sophisticated, and I just love the square toe, very modern design. 
And yeah, I'm excited to see how they do over on Poshmark and eBay and Tradesy and Mercari <laughs> and so forth. These are size eight and a half. So yes, I was actually super excited to find these because they were really reasonably priced at Goodwill, which is not always the case with Madewell at Goodwill or at least at our Goodwills. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for going thrifting with me and for watching the haul. I have so much fun making these videos. If you enjoy these types of videos too, or thrifting or reselling related content, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up and let me know in the comment section what your favorite piece from this haul was. I think, I really like this haul. I mean, I think this is such a great haul. It had so many really good pieces. I love the Gola shoes. I'm excited to see how the Mother Men's does. And I'm also excited to see how those boyish denim jeans do. But I love experimenting with new brands and always incorporating new pieces, styles, brands, categories into my closet and into my business. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me again. And I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, bye.